Bonsai trees on this home and garden Wednesday. Lifestyle expert Chris H. Olson with Botanica Gardens joining us with what we need to know. Hey, Chris. Good morning. Good morning. Well, you know, bonsais, a lot of people are fascinated with bonsais because they're just, you even said they're kind of cool oh, and yeah. fun looking. And of course, with Father's Day coming up in June, it's a perfect gift for a guy, especially if they like plants because we consider them a little bit more masculine. It's one of those things that are a stress reliever, especially if they have them on their desk because, okay. you know, they can trim it as they want. You remember the karate kid? Of you course. Said, he said, just envision it yeah. in your mind the way you want it. And that's the way it is with bonsais. Envision the way you want it. You want to keep them spaced and thinned out so you can see the main stem, which makes them look a little bit more aged, which also allows air circulation. And there, and there's so many different types of bonsais out there. The most common, of course, are the junipers. Mm -hmm. You know, but now there's the ficuses, which are very low maintenance. There's all different types of uh, uh, ornamental type of trees and things like that that are very contorted. And one thing is you can either buy them the way they are, or you can create your own. So you can go ahead, a lot of times you'll see discount sections in the nurseries, like one gallon juniper trees. Uh -huh. And they're kind of gnarly looking, but those are the perfect trees for bonsais because oh. they already have that old looking shape so you just shave the root ball and plant them in a low container like this and you can create your own bonsai and I have a bonsai collection at home I do several of them uh, together on a table outside during the summertime and I bring them in in the winter time uh -huh. now if you grow these inside you want to give them plenty of bright light okay. and they like air circulation they don't like dry heat so bring them outside in a covered area with bright indirect light is better. And the key thing is how you water them. Two ways to water them. One, I'll put it in the sink and I'll just let my little faucet drip on it real slow. Mm -hmm. Or I take any type of container and I fertilize mine with Miracet, which is like miracle Grow, And I'll mix that in here. Okay. Ooh, I love the color of that it. That is cool. Isn't that cool? And then I'll just go ahead and pour that in a type of saucer. See the blue? Yep. So I they're see getting it. fertilizer. You want to fertilize them at least once a month. Remember, they're in one little boat or in one little pot. And you just put it in here and let it absorb the moisture up. And that's how I water my bonsais. If you keep them constantly moist but not wet, they are plants that like to be consistently moist, not okay. up and down. They'll do great. How for long you. can you expect it to last? You take it care oh, they can last a hundred years if you wow. did it right. Wow. And you trim the root system and all that. Very, very cool. Chris, tell us where Botanica Gardens is located. Um, we're at 1601 Repsman Park Road. We're right next door to Buffalo Grill Restaurant, and a lot of ladies know Cynthia East Fabrics. Okay.